Hello everyone, welcome to Pharma Elite and another video from Boost Your Basic series. Today we are here with a topic from electrochemistry. I hope you are enjoying the series. In case you have missed our previous videos from the series, you can watch them on our YouTube channel Dharmesh Mehta GPAT. Just type here Dharmesh Mehta GPAT on YouTube and you can find all the videos. So let's begin with today's topic of electrochemistry. Now, what is electrochemistry? Basically, electrochemistry मतलब ये topic या subject का क्या main important चीज़ है? Electrochemistry is the study of chemical reactions which take place at the interface of an electrode, which is usually a solid metal or a semiconductor and an ionic conductor, which is the electrolyte. That is, you study the chemical reaction between an electrode and an electrolyte. This is what is basically electrochemistry. अब इलेक्ट्रोकेमिस्ट्री में क्या होता है बेसिकली यू स्टडी समथिंग कॉल्ड एज इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल एवरीथिंग अबाउट योर टॉपिक रिवॉल्व्स अराउंड दिस इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल इट इज अ टाइप ऑफ सेल इन व्हिच केमिकल एनर्जी व्हिच इज लिबरेटेड ड्यूरिंग रेडॉक्स रिएक्शन इज कन्वर्टेड टू इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी इज नोन एज इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल अब ये इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल मतलब क्या है योर केमिकल एनर्जी इज बीइंग गेटिंग कन्वर्टेड टू इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी and now in this there is there are different types of electrochemical cells we'll look at it further as we move ahead but what i would like to tell you is there are different types of electrochemical cells in which there is conversion of energy well now in this case it is from chemical to electrical also there is a type of cell in which your energy gets converted from electrical to chemical we'll look in further slides that is called as electrolytic cell it is a device where you see that the electrical energy is used to carry out non spontaneous chemical reaction that is electrical is getting converted to chemical is electrolytic that is it is a type of electrochemical cell and another cell which you commonly must have heard is a galvanic cell before we move further another thing which comes under electrochemistry is half cell reactions and overall that is full reactions that is in electrochemistry you have something called as an electrolyte and you have electrodes at each electrode an electrochemical reaction will occur and this is called as half cell reaction that is when there are two electrodes and you describe or aap sirf ek hi electrode aur uski ek ka reaction ke bare mein discuss kar rahe ho then it is half cell reaction and what is the overall reaction when you combine the reactions of these two individual half cell that is the right as well as left when you combine both you get a overall reaction with this diagram i think you'll be able to understand what is an electrochemical cell now this is a very typical diagram of electrochemical cell jo aap sabhi ne dekha hoga in your lower classes also now in this electrochemical cell mainly there are two things that is your chemical energy gets converted to electrical and electrical gets converted to chemical now this is the tip, type of electrochemical cell which is called as galvanic cell yahan pe main thing what you need to know is your chemical energy is getting converted to electrical energy this is the first thing in a galvanic cell then so your input is chemical and your output is electrical it is a galvanic cell and now since you are giving a chemical energy it is a spontaneous chemical reaction matlab ye reaction apne aap ho jata hai spontaneously because it is a chemical input you are getting in a galvanic cell remember this it is a spontaneous reaction and since it is spontaneous reaction jo humne pehle thermodynamics topic mein bhi dekha hai when your reaction is spontaneous uska delta g value negative hota hai I hope आप सबको याद होगा वेन यू कंसिडर स्पॉन्टेनियस रिएक्शन द डेल्टा जी वैल्यू इज ऑलवेज नेगेटिव इन दिस केस यू हैव टू टू कंटेनर्स बोथ द इलेक्ट्रोड्स आर सेपरेट एंड दिस आर ज्वाइंट बाई समिंग कॉल्ड एज सॉल्ट ब्रिज ये आपने सुना होगा वेन यू हैव टू कंटेनर्स एंड टू इलेक्ट्रोड दे आर ज्वाइंट बाई अ सॉल्ट ब्रिज दिस इज द कनेक्टिंग लिंक यू कैन सी बिटवीन द टू दिस इज द टू इलेक्ट्रोड दिस इज द एनोड एंड दिस इज द कैथोड अब अनादर थिंग विच यू नीड टू नो इज एनोड क्या होता है और कैथोड क्या होता है नाउ हियर दिस इज दोड विच इज अंडर गोइंग ऑक्सीडेशन बिकॉज यू सी कॉपर सी यू इज गेटिंग कन्वर्टेड टू सी यू टू प्लस दैट इज कॉपर अपने इलेक्ट्रॉन लूज करता है ऑक्सीडेशन इज लॉस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन 
so here one thing what i come to know is this anode is undergoing oxidation okay baad mein hum dusre cell ke bare mein bhi dekhte hai and this cathode which was silver that is ag plus is gaining electrons and getting reduced therefore this cathode which is made up of silver is getting reduced right so and what is the potential uh, sign of it anode in this case has is having copper it is getting oxidized and cathode is getting reduced so this is what happens in a galvanic cell now let us look at uh, another part of it or another category under electrochemical that is an electrolytic cell the basic difference here is this consists of only one container yahan pe aap dekh sakte hai dono electrodes ek hi container mein dale hai and they are connected by an external source that is a battery there is no salt bridge over here there is a battery aur yahan anode positive hota hai और कैथोड नेगेटिव होता है अब देखते हैं कैसे ये यू कैन सी हियर दिस इज कॉपर कॉपर इज गेटिंग ऑक्सीडाइज्ड मतलब ये अपने इलेक्ट्रॉन्स लूज करता है ओके सो अगेन इन दिस केस एनोड इज लूजिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो एनोड इज पॉजिटिव इट इज अंडरगोइंग ऑक्सीडेशन और यहाँ क्या है एनोड नेगेटिव टर्मिनल है यहाँ अपोजिट है एनोड पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल है मंस दिस इज लूजिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड दिस कॉपर कैथोड in this case is getting reduced that is who electrons ko accept karta hai so it undergoes reduction and how you decide the terminal this sulfate solution which is there the sulfate negative ions are being attracted towards this terminal so negative being attracted to a terminal matlab iska charge positive hoga and since this is connected by an external source that is hum electrical energy dete hai so it is a non spontaneous reaction because electrical is getting converted to chemical in an electrolytic cell so as you are giving an external energy source it is a non spontaneous reaction और ये नॉन स्पॉन्टेनियस रिएक्शन है मतलब इसका डेल्टा जी वैल्यू पॉजिटिव होगा दैट इज एस हियर यू हैव सीन द डेल्टा जी इज नेगेटिव हियर इन इलेक्ट्रोलाइटिक द डेल्टा जी विल बी पॉजिटिव व्हाई बिकॉज इट इज अ नॉन स्पॉन्टेनियस रिएक्शन दिस इज द मेन डिफरेंस between an galvanic cell and an electrochemical cell so remember one standard thing that anode ka terminal positive ho ya negative ho anode is always undergoing oxidation and cathode is undergoing reduction whether it is galvanic or whether it is electrolytic now under half cell reactions now there are two types whether it is a oxidation reaction or reduction reaction now whether it is oxidation or reduction ye aap electron transfer ko dekh ke pata chalta hai now when it will be oxidation reaction oxidation is basically loss of electron that is copper you could see it is oxidized to cu2 plus and oxidation is also gain of oxygen that is when you directly add oxygen it is oxidized when you lose electrons it is oxidation and oxidation is also loss of hydrogen you can describe oxidation in these three forms now what is reduction it will be exactly opposite of oxidation reduction is when you gain electrons when you lose oxygen here in oxidation you are gaining oxygen in reduction you are losing oxygen in oxidation you are losing hydrogen in reduction you gain hydrogen that is when you add hydrogen it is reduction and it involves gain of electrons and loss of oxygen this is how you can describe oxidation and reduction in simple terms rather than knowing any big mechanisms for it ab dekhte hai what is called as emf series or standard uh, oxidation potentials so standard reduction potentials this is basically a standard reduction potential ye series it is fully based on reference of hydrogen that is standard hydrogen electrode she iska reduction potential is zero and with reference to this you are describing all others now what is this when electrodes that is metals and non metals in contact with their ions are arranged on the basis of value of standard oxidation or reduction potential it is called as emf series yes based on reduction potentials hai with respect to oxygen ye sab upar wale values positive hai aur niche ke values sab negative hai these are negative values these are positive values with respect to oxygen now you can see here 
as you see the values are increasing the highest positive value is 2.87 ye value fluorine ka hai that is the standard reduction potential which is having the maximum standard reduction potential aapko question pucha ja sakta hai maximum reduction potential is with fluorine aur iska maximum reduction potential hai matlab ye reduce ho raha hai khud right मैक्सिमम रिडक्शन पोटेंशियल मतलब ये खुद रिड्यूस हो रहा है और ये रिड्यूस हो रहा है मतलब ये स्ट्रॉगर ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट है दैट इज ये खुद रिड्यूस हो रहा है मतलब ये दूसरे को ऑक्सीडाइज करेगा दैट इज हाउ इट इज अ स्ट्रॉगर ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट फ्रॉम एज यू मूव फ्रॉम डाउन टू टॉप ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट स्ट्रॉन्गेस्ट यू गेट एंड लास्ट वन अनदर यू नीड टू रिमेम्बर इज लिथियम इसका रिडक्शन पोटेंशियल क्या है माइनस इट इज हैविंग द लीस्ट रिडक्शन पोटेंशियल मतलब ये रिड्यूस नहीं हो रहा है ये ये खुद ऑक्सीडाइज हो रहा है ये खुद ऑक्सीडाइज हो रहा है मतलब ये दूसरे को रिड्यूस करेगा देर फोर इट इज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट एंड वीक ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट समझा सी इट्स वैल्यू इज द लीस्ट इट इज हैविंग लीस्ट रिडक्शन पोटेंशियल मतलब ये खुद रिड्यूस नहीं हो रहा है ये ऑक्सीडाइज हो रहा है एंड ये खुद ऑक्सीडाइज हो रहा है मतलब ये दूसरे को ऑक्सीडाइज तो नहीं करेगा ये दूसरे को रिड्यूस करेगा ये दूसरे को रिड्यूस करेगा मतलब ये स्ट्रॉन्ग रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट होगा और ये ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट में वीक हो जाएगा इट विल बी अ स्ट्रॉन्ग रिड्यूसिंग लाइक दिस यू कैन रिमेम्बर विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू हाइड्रोजन दिस आज द सीरीज Another thing in electrochemistry is Faraday's law of electrolysis. There are two laws, first law or second law. आपको सिर्फ इसका overview पता होना जरूरी है. पूरा derivation या कोई आपको exam में नहीं पूछने वाला है. Many entrance exams are there. Now, what is the first law of Faraday's electrolysis? The amount of chemical reaction which occurs at any electrode during electrolysis by current is proportional to the quantity of electricity passed through the electrolyte. मतलब कितना केमिकल रिएक्शन किसी भी इलेक्ट्रोड पे चाहे वो एनोड या कैथोड हो उसमें कितना केमिकल केमिकल रिएक्शन हो रहा है दैट इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू द अमाउंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी यू आर पासिंग थ्रू द इलेक्ट्रोलाइट दैट इज एम इज इक्वल टू जेड इन टू क्यू हाउ मच ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शन इज ऑकरिंग इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू द क्वांटिटी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बींग पास एंड वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट लॉ Second law tells us that the amount of different substances which are liberated by the same quantity of electricity passing through the electrolytic solution are proportional to their chemical equivalent weight. That is, कितना substance liberate हो रहा है after the reaction, it depends upon the same quantity of electricity which is passing through the solution and is proportional to its equivalent weight. that is mass of the metal deposited will be equals to the chemical equivalent weight into the quantity of electricity that you are passing now what is this equivalent weight it is the atomic mass divided by number of electrons which are required to reduce this that is the atomic mass upon number of free electrons into quantity of electricity or quantity of charge will give you the mass of metal or the mass deposited at any electrode during a chemical reaction when quantity of electricity passed q you can find out by the formula q is equals to i into t where q is in coulombs i the current is in amperes and t the time is in seconds just a overview of this is more than enough before we move further do subscribe to our youtube channel and make sure you press the bell icon so that you get a reminder when we are posting a video we also have our free whatsapp group where we are posting daily mcqs for gpat night per job related openings and other information if you want to get added to our groups please drop a message on the below mentioned number we will add you to our group अब देखते हैं कैसे टाइप के क्वेश्चंस आ सकते हैं the first question in an electrolytic cell reduction takes place at negative electrode reduction takes place at positive electrode reduction is spontaneous and oxidation takes place at negative electrode ab electrolytic cell bola hai so this is the diagram of an electrolytic cell ab dekhte hai this is the positive anode this is the negative cathode ye anode kya hota hai hamesha anode is going to oxidize so reduction takes place at negative electrode ye first option kya hai negative electrode matlab cathode yahan reduction ho raha hai Yes. 
स्टिल वी हैव टू चेक दी अदर ऑप्शन रिडक्शन टेक्स प्लेस एट पॉजिटिव इलेक्ट्रोड ये पॉजिटिव एनोड है इज इट गेटिंग रिड्यूस्ड नो इट इज गेटिंग ऑक्सीडाइज मतलब ये रॉन्ग है and since it is an uh, reaction where you see a battery or an external electrical energy is used it is non spontaneous therefore this is also wrong and is oxidation taking place at negative electrode no so the correct answer in this case is option 1 sirf aapko wo do di diagram yaad rakhne hain electrochemical that is galvanic and electrolytic next question electrode potential is the potential difference which develops between two electrodes in the external wire collecting the electrodes two electrodes in the solution medium two electrodes on the solvent of electrolyte solution the electrolyte electrode and the electrolyte humne first slide pe dekha tha that is electrochemistry is the study of potential difference between the electrode and the electrolyte whether it is connected by a medium wire or a solution medium or what is the solvent it will vary from case to case but mainly it is the study of reaction between electrode and electrolyte whatever may be the electrolyte solvent it is always related to the electrode it can be anything you cannot consider one specific solvent तो यहाँ करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन डी एक्सटर्नल वायर कनेक्शन एंड ऑल दिस डिपेंड्स अपॉन द टाइप ऑफ सेल यू आर स्टडिंग बट इन जनरल इलेक्ट्रोकेमिस्ट्री इज बिटवीन इलेक्ट्रोड एंड द इलेक्ट्रोलाइट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन रस्टिंग ऑफ आयन इज डैश डीकम्पोजिशन फोटोकेमिकल इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल एंड रिडक्शन अब हम सब ने रस्टिंग के बारे में कुछ तो देखा होगा यू कैन सी इन योर हाउसेस और आल्सो इन द रेनी सीजन एवरी वे देर इज रस्टिंग और ऑक्सीडेशन रिएक्शन बेसिकली रस्टिंग और कोरोजन यू कैन मस्ट हैव हर्ड द टर्म ये बेसिकली क्या है ये दोनों है ऑक्सी टाइप ऑफ ऑक्सीडेशन रिएक्शन दट इज वेन आई इज प्रेजेंट एंड इट कम्बाइंड विद ऑक्सीजन इट अंडरगोज कोरोजन और रस्टिंग प्रोसेस राइट when iron combines with the atmospheric oxidation it forms a greenish silver coating or may it be on iron silver copper and bronze instruments all this they get a film of oxide or a greenish coating and this occurs in presence of moisture air so this is like what is the rusting process but what it is is it a decomposition process no is it photochemical does it require light to photo means light does it require light no is it a electrochemical will hold on this is it a reduction process no it nothing is it is not that only reduction is going to cause this reaction it is mainly oxidation of the species ferrous ions are oxidized by the atmospheric oxygen to ferric ions which basically forms the rust so mainly it is an electrochemical process which occurs on the surfaces that is it occurs in presence of air and water a particular spot on the object which is made up of iron copper bronze anything oxidation takes place at this spot and then this spot where oxidation has take place it starts acting as an anode because anode undergoes oxidation right so obviously this is how rusting or corrosion process occurs and therefore it is an electrochemical process thank you everyone stay tuned more videos are coming up soon